a case of a multifocal medullary cancer is shown here. There is a hypocogenic nodule with hypercogenic granules in the right lobe. Two similar nodules are present in the left thyroid. Note that the intranodular hypercogenic granules are larger than the focus of microcalcifications and there is no acoustic shadow dorsal to the granules. The nodule is in the dorsolateral part of the right lobe. Note the presence of the hypercogenic granules. The largest diameter of the nodule was 6 mm. A much larger nodule is present in the left lobe with hypercogenic granules without acoustic shadow. The vascularization is increased. There is another, similarly hypocogenic lesion dorsal to the larger one. We are now above the left lobe and looking for lymph nodes. It is evident on the Doppler mode that the ventral hypocogenic lesion is a lymph node. We try to find the adequate section in order to safely aspirate the nodule in the right lobe. Now, we found a good section and started with the aspiration. The tip of the needle within the lesion is well seen, now. Two aspirations are shown form the nodule in the left lobe. On the first attempt, the tip of the needle runs very close to the artery so we change the localization of the needle. On the second occasion, the tip of the needle is in the middle part of the nodule. And finally, a U.S. guided aspiration from the lymph node is displayed. We localize the lesion in the middle of the field of vision and start with the aspiration.